Here's a nice little reminder from the Gospel of Thomas, right? The apocryphal one. The disciples said to Jesus, this is to, to strengthen you guys again. Tell us how our end will be. Okay, again, talking about what? The end. This is the disciple group. They're asking about the end. Jesus said, have you discovered then the beginning? Yes, we have. That if you look, uh, uh, sorry, that you look for the end? Yes, that's exactly what we've done. For where the beginning is, there the end will be. That's precisely what we've been revealing. Blessed is he who will take his place in the beginning. What was the beginning? Aldebaran, the eye of Taurus. He will know the end and what? Will not experience death. Pre-trib, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Let me ask you something. This seems quite specific, doesn't it? Doesn't this seem very specific to you? <laughs> I, I, I always catch myself. I know I'm asking rhetorical questions and sometimes I seem to give too long of a pause. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah wait a second, rhetorical. <laughs> so just, just ponder on this. Pause this and read it again for yourself slowly. Does this not seem in verse 18 of the Gospel of Thomas to be something very specific? Does this sound like it's it talking to the entire group of pre-tribbers? Prepared, ready, and watching? No, it doesn't, does it? Who has then discovered the beginning that they look for the end? Do you know anybody outside of this ministry that's understood this? For where the beginning is, there the end will be. What? Where on earth have you ever understood this except here in this ministry that takes it all the way back to the beginning of creation to reveal the end 